only a few days away from Christmas and I thought it was a good time to do one of these little sneak peeks into our family's kitchen and pantry. This is gonna be our vegan kitchen and pantry tour, which I'm sure all of you are gonna enjoy this little sneak peek into currently what we're buying, what we're getting ready for Christmas. And honestly, who does not love having a little bit of sneaky peek? I am gonna go over this way here into our kitchen and let's get into this amazing vegan kitchen and pantry tour right now. As I said, I really love doing these tours. So we've got a few pantries to get through, fridge to get through, and then we've got some other little secret compartments as well. I love my storage. I cannot wait to show you some of the amazing foods we are currently going through and some of my secret compartments. This first compartment right here, you're gonna love if you love cooking. When I show someone our kitchen, this is the drawer that I love showing off. Check out this. So this is all the spices in here, a little, little spice drawer. Just got some little jars of the spices in here. It definitely needs probably to be a little bit bigger, or maybe I just need to get some smaller jars, but this is just such a fantastic idea. I love it. Let's move on to our first pantry over here. Organization heaven in here all the different labeled items in here if you have a little bit of ocd you will be upset with this being the wrong way around there we go life is better just got like a bunch of different baking items dried fruit seeds nuts nutritional yeast it's just a organization dream here and then we've just got some baking items up here we might actually end up getting a couple more containers to just make another row in here because we've got a couple items just in plastic at the moment but if we can get some more containers and then add in onto this row as well it'll probably just be a little bit more organized so this pantry is a little bit chaotic uh at the moment um, it's a little bit messy, it probably needs a little bit more organization. So like if I do that other row, as I said in the other pantry, probably actually free up a bit of space in here. So at the back here, we've just got some little lolly jars for the kids. Um, the kids, surprisingly, it's actually highly accessible, but they very rarely actually go into these at all. But just got some whiz fizz, some lollipops, some fudge little bites, and the little mini jellies that you can get from Woolies. In this basket, this basket, I call this messy basket because there's really no system to this basket at all. It's got a bunch of different munchies in here, just some Smiths, burger rings, these insanely good mission tortilla triangles, taco flavor, you get these from Coles. These are honestly so flavorsome. Have a bunch of flavor on each chip as well. Highly recommend checking out those. Got some pretzels here as well. I have honestly a pretzel addiction. Once I open a packet, I can honestly not stop with pretzels. And then in here, we just got like little different sauces. We've got baking powder in here. We've got some mac and cheese from Plantitude, a couple packets of them. Two tubs of the vegan mayo from Heinz. Always got to have some of that on hand. Just a little bit of different sauces in here. Apple cider vinegar. Um, got some more spices in here that actually don't fit in the other little spice drawer so i've got to fix that up a little bit still um liquid smoke really fantastic to have on hand as a vegan gives some smoky flavors and then another fantastic item is black salt here as well giving some dishes like that little eggy taste so that is another handy one to have available for vegans that is the little junk uh basket which I really need to organize. The next shelf, just a couple bits and pieces here. So Christmas at the moment, the kids are loving these kitty wings. So little gingerbread people here, biscuits from gingerbread folk, uh, gluten-free and vegan friendly. So I've just been going in some lunch boxes, just a little snack for the kids at the moment. Uh, the best gravy over here, we've got two tubs. As you can see here, this one is our full one. That one's almost finished, but with Christmas coming up, we grabbed another tub. Um, these tubs honestly last us several months. Got some Byron Bay Chili Co salsa here. So with those corn chips below, this salsa will go down a treat. Just entertaining for Christmas. It's got some dinner rolls, some bread, uh, and got some tortillas here. So probably gonna have like a black bean enchiladas uh, in a few days. So that's why the tortillas here. Got these actually little sprouts. So I don't know if you guys know about sprouts. So sprouts are incredibly um, 
nutritious for you and you can actually grow sprouts at home. So these are just like a little sprout kit. So just little seeds, uh, you soak it in some water, let it dry, and then in a couple of days you have some highly nutritious sprouts. So just got some lentils, alfalfa, and kale seeds here. Over here we just got some sauces, so butter, scotch sauce here. So I love baking, and then there's another one, a caramel sauce back there. Just got some powdered peanut butter um, from Macromike. This stuff's really cool. So all you have to do is just powder, bit of water, mix it together, and you've got instant peanut butter. It's really cool. And the Macromike one is high in protein. Some salt and pepper, and then also we've got the drinking chocolate. This is a fantastic from Cadbury. We used to get the Neapolitan drinking chocolate from Cadbury, which was so flavorsome. I don't know if they still do it, but this is just handy to have. Um, in summer now, probably not gonna be using a lot of that. And then we've just got some soy cappuccinos here. I love this little spinning turn table. It just makes it so much easier. Next row. So this is a bunch of protein bars from Macro Mike. Um, so the kids have a lot of snacks. So having a bunch of these on hand is fantastic. In this little tub here, we have a couple of bits of pieces. We've got some got a Nomo, we've got some of these apricot bites. These are fantastic. Um, some butter flavored popcorn from Woolies. This chocolate is unreal. So what I'm gonna use this for, for Christmas, I'm gonna make like a puff pastry chocolate Christmas tree using this chocolate. So all it is, is a sheet of puff pastry, slice it into like a tree shape, put this in the middle of it, chuck it in the oven and it is honestly so delicious. Sprinkle over some icing sugar on top, simple, easy recipe. Um, over here, the Maggie Bear Fruit Paste Collection. So again, Christmas, platters, fruit paste, just goes together really well. Over here, we just got some saladas on hand. And then we've got some more Christmas stuff here. We've got some mint chocolates in here. We have some Turkish delight. So that's just gonna be on the table for Christmas. Couple of cans of coconut milk here. And then over here, apple slices. Um, so I'm gonna make an apple crumble using this. If you have not seen the recipe for my apple crumble, definitely check it out. It is so simple to make, 45 minutes. 40 of those minutes are in the oven, so there is a very minimal work with that apple crumble, so definitely check out that recipe. Back here, some tomato paste. We've got like this herbed um, sea salt, so this is just infused with organic herbs and veggies, so this stuff is actually really flavorsome. Some sweet condensed coconut milk, so what I'm gonna do for Christmas as well, I'm gonna make up some delicious chocolate ripple balls. So all you gotta do to make some delicious chocolate ripple balls is use a can of this, a packet of the Arnott's chocolate ripple biscuits, and then also probably about half a cup, cup of desiccated coconut, and away you go. Three ingredients, super simple, very delicious treat. Just got some olives here for some platters, pineapple. Um, kids love having pineapple, convenient in the tin. Some black beans, couple tins of black beans here. Chickpeas as well, actually low on, we got actually no lentils. Okay, I need to get some lentils. And over here we have a couple bits and pieces from Macro Mike. So if you are interested in natural vegan protein range, uh, definitely check out Macro Mike. So Macro Mike, I have a discount code. Definitely try that one out if you're interested. So they have protein water, which I'm actually finding really interesting. It's actually just like, if you don't want a protein powder, um, it is actually really convenient. So just chuck in a scoop of this into your water and is actually high in protein. Protein powder, got some protein muffins I'm gonna make up there as well. Pre-workout, these iron melts are back. Uh, this is just a convenient supplement. My salad cashew palm cheese is unreal as well. Up here we just have some cocoa powder and then we have some little crackers. Huh? These have just recently released into Woolies. Just some crackers here. Uh, a little bit lighter. It is hard to find vegan friendly crackers, but this is gonna be fantastic for our platters. Cocoa Pops are vegan friendly, a couple packets of Wheat Bix, Nutrigrain as well. And then the kids are going through their No Mo Advent calendar at the moment, almost there. They are loving that. So that is fantastic that No Mo have that available. That is it in the pantry, massive little pantry here. So we're gonna move on to our fridge and freezer next. 
Over here, we just got the Betty Crocker vanilla frosting. If you did not know, the Betty Crocker range, pretty much the entire range is vegan friendly. So this is always helpful to know. Coconut whipping cream from Nature's Charm. Got some up and goes in the fridge. Super handy to have in your fridge, ready to go for a snack, especially with the kids. Uh, you guys know me by now, I love my maple syrup. So this one from Costco, one liter is always handy to have available. And then in here, so we've got the hemp seeds. They are in the fridge to help with the oxidization, so to prevent that. Um, but hemp seeds, if you do not have these in your fridge, as a vegan, you honestly need to get hemp seeds. High in protein, uh, omegas as well. We chuck a couple tablespoons of the hemp seeds on our stuff every single day. So really fantastic for vegans that have a variety of different sources, tahini in here. Um, this is also fantastic if you cook a lot of Asian, uh, the vegetarian oyster sauce. Super amazing that that is available. Um, different spreads in here, some jam. This from Nando's, this vegan Perinase is really flavorsome. You can get this at the supermarket or you can get it from Nando's yourself. And then this burger sauce, still unreal that this is available, the vegan special burger sauce. Honestly, it is like a Big Mac sauce, but vegan friendly and really affordable as well. This over here is just some soy milk. We've got this one from Vitasoy as well. Milk, chalk flavored almond milk, so iced there some sauces at the back and this is kind of like our cute christmas stuff at the moment that we're getting ready so i've just got some different sauces from chris's they have a range of different vegan friendly plant-based uh dips so again for spreads so we've got the french onion one the spicy capsicum and the guacamole over here so this is just going to be going to use this as on the cheese board um, i'm also going to get the coles camembert and brie cheeses um, that you can get from the fancy cheese section at Coles. We've got the new Nature's Kitchen Christmas ham style roast. This is actually unreal, like the texture is amazing. The glaze is next level. Um, it's just fantastic to have that as an option. Also got two of the Christmas roast with sweet chutney glaze here as well. So we are not having a fully vegan Christmas. It's gonna be at our place, um, but my family, most of my family are willing to try uh, vegan this Christmas. Um, my wife's family's coming over as well, and they're probably a little bit more of a bigger meat and seafood eating families, and they don't normally come over every year, so like the dropping um, completely vegan Christmas on them, probably not ready for that, but I really do want to do, maybe hopefully next year, a fully vegan Christmas, just some leftover food. What have we got in here? We've got, um, we got a mushroom risotto. This is some tofu scramble that we had yesterday. Uh, just got some gnocchi on hand from Simply Wise. So that is uh, vegan friendly gnocchi. Over here, we've got some more leftovers. That's like a chickpea curry in there. Got a couple tubs of that. Got the sheesh, sprint onion, cracked black pepper spread. So like a cream cheese here. Perfect on bagels. This combination with bagels is unreal. Of course, a massive tub of Yumi's hummus. More helpful Amiga options and protein options in here with the chia seeds and the flax. Massive tub of Natalex, two kilo there. So we've got a massive tub. Well, we had a ma massive tub of pickles but what we're going to do with this last bit of pickle sauce that it was sitting in this is fantastic so you get some uh potatoes you mash them down a little bit you drizzle over this pickle juice over the top of your slightly mashed potatoes chuck them in the oven they honestly turn out so crispy and super flavorsome with the pickle juice here unreal highly recommend trying that out in here this is cheeses grated cheese with some sheesh cheese slices the Meli aura plant-based ham this is the best stuff and then down here got some veggie delights barbecue sausages there a couple packets of the macro tofu as well always handy to have available in your fridge in here as well i've actually just made up some of my own granola as well so always have that available honestly super easy to make your own granola always fantastic this fridge honestly has so many different compartments so this is like a semi freeze section it's perfect for your bread so it's not completely frozen but it is semi frozen so it keeps a lot longer so we've just got a couple of loaves of the bread in here got some 
V2 burgers ready to go, um, slightly defrosted. So this is a perfect section in here. And then we just have uh, a pizza base in here as well. But then we'll move on to the freezer. If you have kids, the freezer is always fully stocked. I feel like we're gonna actually have to eventually get like a chest freezer or something. But this is always full of stuff. So we've got some Zuba Dubas, got puff pastry. Over here is just some roti. Uh, we get this big one, the 30 pieces um, from Costco, but this brand is also available at Coles as well. So that's good to know. Um, bird's eye mints in here. Plant-based party pack from Pie Society is so handy to have in the freezer. We've got some sausage rolls, party pies, and your pasties as well. So that is really good value. It goes on special a lot as well. Some corn kernels, some hash browns, some mini pizzas here as well, four and 20 pies, another super convenient item to have in the freezer if you have kids and you cannot be bothered cooking some nights. I've also got like a jackfruit pie mix um, that we had a little bit extra and I have frozen here. So again, defrost that, put together some puff pastry, Pies in my pie makeup, boom, easy. Over here we bulk purchased um, some vegan fudge brownies uh, bars. So these are just another thing that we kind of pull out every so often, but they are frozen and will last very long. Let's move on to the second section of the freezer. Alrighty, here we go. So we've just got these little moons. If you have not tried these, these are really interesting. Um, they're like rice paper, covered ice cream. Oh, it is actually really weird, but honestly, kind of cool. So this is rice paper covered ice cream. It is unreal. Definitely try them out because they're actually really tasty. They have this chocolate one and then they also have like a passion fruit one as well. Over here, we just got the fries popcorn chicken. Always have some of that in the freezer. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, packs of the Abe's bagels, which are vegan friendly in the freezer. Um, don't judge us, we love our bagels. Just got some frozen fruit here, some raspberries, blueberries. Uh, this is like a mango, banana, and pineapple mix. The plant chewed chicken free nuggets. These are really affordable, actually, really tasty. Got some of the fries, soy, and flaxseed schnitzels. This Another item, really good um, for just lunch boxes. I've actually been doing, using these for our sons. Lunch boxes, cook them up, and then cut them up, and then it's just really super convenient. Over here, we always seem to have some of these Golden Gate Time plant base in here. These were half price recently, so we kind of stocked up on a couple of them, and we still have one packet left. Uh, the vegan croissants that you can get from Coles, we're just freezing them and then just some frozen peas there. So let's move on to the last little drawer down below. So this is produce in here. This little crisper is super handy because there's a couple compartments. So that is just one compartment on top, another compartment here. So just some produce, we're gonna probably Try to refill it again just before Christmas. Um, it's probably gonna be crazy in the shops, but we're gonna get some more bits and pieces ready for Christmas. So we're gonna do some like roast veg salads, uh, like a mango salad as well. Uh, I cannot wait to show you guys what we're having for Christmas, but that is it for the fridge. But I have three more sneaky little pantry slots. The pantry number one is just behind the bar stools here. So this is just hidden, but with a family of four, you need all the secret compartments you can get. This one in here just has some soy milk, a bunch of soy milk, it seems. Uh, some soy cappuccinos, some dates here. So this, we love our dates. So this is a three kilo packet from Costco. Um, this will last us quite a while. Some more super dupers, some plain flour, some more. Um, of the gingerbread people. Two minute noodles, just really convenient to just have an easy grab kind of item for the kids. And over here, this is some more items for Christmas. So as I said earlier, chocolate ripple balls with almonds, chocolate ripple biscuits, some more pretzels, um, some Savoy's back there, barbecue shapes. And then these items from Kettle, these are relatively new, I believe. These are like sourdough, um, Crackers, these are fantastic for um, platters. So you've got the pink salt one and then the Dukkha one as well. So these are just a couple of the biscuit items that we're gonna have on our spreads for 
Christmas. Hidden pantry number two. Some bulk items in here. So we just got diced tomatoes, tomato sauce. We've got some Christmas puddings here as well. Can use uh, apple cider vinegar. There's that massive jar of the pickles again. Got a protein powder for Macro Mike and then some seaweed here. Again, snacks are important if you have kids. I've got one more little secret compartment and then that is it, friends. This one is like in our bench seat. This one lifts up in here. This little spot here is essentially snacks for kids. If you have kids or just if you love this snack game, um, it is always important to have one of these sort of compartments. So we've got the Harvard Snaps in here, got veggie chips, got these Annie fruit bars from Costco. These are honestly really delicious. Then we've got some roll-ups in there, the bluey Arnott's ones, so these are kind of like uh, pizza shapes, pretty much like 80% similar to pizza shapes, but are vegan friendly. Over here, over here just got some Nomos in there and then some bulk um, marshmallows. So sometimes we do some campfires out the back. It is honestly really hard to find vegan marshmallows, so we ended up getting some bulk and then that'll last us very long time. So there is the little snack area for the kiddos. There we go, friends. That was our fridge and pantry tour. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this little tour. Couple Christmas items that we have there ready to go for Christmas in a few more days. Still need to get a couple more items. So please let me know which pantry section or fridge section was your favorite. Anyway, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Whilst you are here, why not watch this video next? So until next time, friends, I'm gonna catch you very soon and please stay tuned for our little Christmas video as well. So have a wonderful Christmas friends and I will see you very very soon.